Hi, this is Darren Blue, and I'm going to show you how to add media such as images to your posts and pages. From the WordPress dashboard, go over to the left sidebar, expand the media menu, select Add New, and now this brings you to an option to select files that are stored on your computer. So I'm going to go select files, navigate to where you have your picture stored, open it, crunching, and so there we have it. Now what I'm going to do is give this picture a title. Uh, I'll go ahead and name that to myself. The caption, I'll go ahead and make it the same, but if it were, if it were a picture of say, you know, say some scenery, I might describe the scenery or what, whatever you want to describe in the picture, go ahead and put that in the caption. Description, this is kind of optional as well. Really, you can see here the only thing that is required is a title, but you have the choice of adding a caption and description as well. Um, I'll show you why this is important when I get into search engine optimization of your blog, but for now it's okay to just have a regular old title and caption. So I'm going to save changes and now you can see your picture stored in your image library. Now if you want to add this to a post, let's create a new post and I'll do sample post with image and this is my sample with a picture in it. Now what you do is you go up to this icon right here if you hover over it it will say add an image it's kinda of hard to tell what it is but you click on this icon and then you have the choice of either do that whole process where you select it from your computer and choose the picture right there or you can choose the picture from your media library choose that tab and here it is there's the one I just uploaded so I'm gonna click on show and now it brings me through the same process again I can choose a title, a caption, description and then down here actually before I get there you can actually choose if you want to link the picture then you would go ahead and type in where you want it to link to. So for example, http colon forward slash forward slash www dot. I could link this to my blog since it's a picture of me. Might as well link to darrenblue.com. And I can center it to the left or the right, whatever I want, and change any sizing options and then here's the key you want to hit insert into post and now you see let me show you a little trick here too you can go to the bottom right corner of the post box here and then click and drag so you have a bigger window to work with and you can do that a couple times you can click and drag from the bottom right corner that way you have a little space to breathe when you write your post and now here's my picture right here. If I want to change it up from here again, all I have to do is click on it and then click on this icon right here, the edit image. And this brings me, brings me to some advanced options here. Again, I can change the positioning. Let's go ahead and center it this time. Gives you a little preview. You can change the size, the scale of it. I'll shrink it down to 80% and change where it links to again and all that. And then you can see up here there's an advanced settings tab. So go into there. You can scroll down and see the options here. The size, the height. If I want to revert back to the original size, I'll go ahead and click that and now you saw the dimensions change right there and it went back to full size. And I can even add a border or spacing around the image. So say I want to add a border of four pixels 
and add vertical spacing around it of let's say 10 pixels and horizontal space of 10 pixels and what that really means is that the space in between the text and the image it's this space right in between right there and so the horizontal and the vertical of course this is going to be the vertical and then left or right is going to be the horizontal so you don't, you don't want your text really crunched in right with your image you want to give it give it a little space and now we can just ignore the rest of that hit update and bam so you can see the caption that was added here the border I have a black border around it and I have some spacing now those were all optional things that you can do to tweak your pictures by no means was any of that mandatory you saw when I first inserted it into the post here that I could have just left it as is but I decided to tweak around and uh, change it up a little bit so that's it for adding a picture let me go ahead and preview and I'll show you what this looks like now you can see here's my picture and my sample post this is my sample text there here's my picture and when I click on this picture it's just going to take me to the home page of darrenblue.com because that's the link I put in let me go ahead and hit the back button here so try and add an image to every post or page you have it really just makes your content and your writing so much more lively and engaging a lot of people they just as you know they just kind of scan through they don't really read things especially on the internet people tend to just scan through things so if you have a picture to really catch their eye and bring their attention to your writing or whatever you're pointing out it really helps a lot so that's it for adding pictures to your posts and pages thanks for watching